Good morning and welcome back to Serenity by Jan. That is my beach house here in Panama City Beach, Florida. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Cassie, one half the DIY sisters and welcome or welcome back to our channel. This week, I am going to start a project, more of an experiment, you might say. It's super cold right now. I can't work on anything outside. And the downstairs bathroom cabinet area needs some TLC. So I had this idea last year, but it was too late because I already was painting it green when I had the idea. But I was like, what if I cover it in concrete? I'm Caitlin. And I'm Kathy. And we're the DIY Sisters. So come with me this week on this experiment of whether concrete patch will work on a bathroom cabinet. <laughs> Step one, we need to clean and sand the cabinet, remove the doors. Step two, we need to prime everything. And step three, we start experimenting with concrete patch. Step four, who knows? The pressure is on and this can't look atrocious. Who knows? <laughs> We're gonna find out together and see if it looks good, if it was cool, if it was worth it. I'll let you know all the details as we're doing it. Currently, um, we, you know, we just gotta find out. So, so I took off the doors. I'm gonna do those separately, and I'm just cleaning everything with a degreaser. Um, hopefully, get it all looking nice, and then I'm gonna tape everything up. This is defeating me. Does anyone know how to take these off? <laughs> I'm like, why aren't they coming off the wall? Ah. What's bugging me? Wow. Didn't expect that, honestly. Oh, it doesn't smell good. satisfying was that um okay let's prime this is a paint primer mix it's just what i had i don't have one of the rolling things so we're just gonna have to figure it out this needs to be painted man it just does not smell good Primer is done, and then we'll come back with a concrete patch and see how it goes. Hey friends, we are ready for concrete patch. I got this from Home Depot. It was like seven dollars. Um, so just get whatever's cheapest, whatever smallest. I have some of these guys, and I also have some chip brushes in case I need to get into light corners. Okay, so the first coat is on and I'm really liking the color. I think it's cool. So that's good news. I don't think I'm gonna have to paint it. However, obviously it needs a second coat. I messed up right there. So like, just don't mess with it until it's dry, basically. Very little product left, which is surprising. I thought for sure I'd have extra, but no. Should have bought a bigger bucket. So much easier to do this on a flat surface. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Okay, so I don't think I'll be able to finish it. It's like basically empty. I can't get enough of it to like come out. So unfortunately I gotta leave it like this. 
<sighs> but yeah, we'll go grab some more in a couple days when we get my rental car. So it kind of dried funky and an odd color. I think it looks a lot more normal through my lens, but yeah, I'm gonna sand it all down and see what happens. And then we'll, we'll definitely do another coat, but I'm, I wanna sand it down and see how it sands down. A little nervous. The red is coming off. Wow, this is intense. Oh, I'm nervous now that I might have just completely messed up this cabinet. Worst case scenario, we paint it. Worst case scenario, we paint it. See, this part is super rough. It will definitely be seen. It needs to be smoothed down. Um, so I bought this attachment for my drill. I don't, I mean, this is not what it's meant to be used for, but I was like, maybe I could just grind in some of there to get it flat enough where, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> oh, not doing too much. Let me put it on too. Um, it's really good for doing the sides. I mean, obviously, but it's not able to get flat in here. It just might, this might take a while. So there are moments, sorry, I have a white crest strip in my mouth. There are moments when I'm like, this looks good. Like certain parts of it look really good and then other parts of it look really bad. And so it's like, unfortunately because of that inconsistency, I, I'm just definitely gonna paint it. Like that's for sure. At this point, I'm like confident in that. I know I'm gonna paint it. This could be a couple things. This could be because I'm bad at putting on concrete, right? This could be just because it's patch and like it's just not made to go on anything, you know, but patch something. There is this one spot that I think will look funky even if I painted it. Like I don't think it'll look right, so. I am gonna cover this in patch and then let it dry and then sand it and then we will paint everything. I need to cover that because it just kind of, I think even with paint, it'll look funky. I just don't, I just can't get like, I'm not gonna get this smooth enough where it looks like this, you know? So these two are finally covered because I got more concrete. <laughs> and so we gotta let this dry and then, yeah, I just did this one over here just to redo it a little bit. And we're gonna let everything dry, sand it a little bit, and then paint it. It is a beautiful day to finish these cabinets. Woo! You would not know it by the look of it, but it's actually like 35 degrees outside. Uh, it's just beautiful and sunny. Okay, so here is the second coat on this guy. back from the store I went to Lowe's and I got some paint I was originally thinking about doing just white on here and I still might but then I was like what if I just get a gray color to try to make it look like a better looking version of concrete where I don't have to fill in all this gapping and like worry about that so the middle color is the one I'm gonna test and it's called cityscape by Sherwin Williams I might just end up painting the whole thing white. I might end up doing some dimension with the gray. I've got a little bit of black, a little bit of white to like add an interesting effect. I have no idea. <laughs> Guys, this project's kind of gotten away from me. Okay. So let's just test it. It's like a pretty good match right now. Actually, it's like not too bad, but it will dry darker. I guess I'm just painting this whole thing at this point. I, I, I don't really know. I, again, guys, I don't have any kind of plan. I don't know about y'all. Like, I feel like some people on the internet are like such planners. I'm the opposite. I'm just like, I want to do it. I, I And I'll just bring my camera with me. <laughs> See what goes down.
impressions. It totally looks silver. <laughs> wow, that dried differently than what I expected. I feel like it looks better through the camera lens, but just trust me when I say like, it looks glittery. Like, <laughs> um, so let's try something different, shall we? Guys, I think this is a fail. I'm feeling like a failure, if I'm being honest. We're gonna go back to my secondary plan, which was just, just white. You know what I'm feeling though? I feel like it's funny because some things just aren't meant to be, you know, like you can try your hardest. I mean, I technically could try more. I could try putting another layer of concrete on. I could try a different color gray. I could, but I'm running out of time and I'm, I feel pretty good that the white's gonna at least look nice. Like it might look like a white stone. That's at least the hope. It is, it is what it is. And we persevere, sort of. Or rather, we give up. <laughs> Way too white. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go to the store. Get like a sandy color. Pray for me. Morning, everybody. I just woke up, like for real. It's early. I've been thinking about this cabinet. <laughs> it has to get done today. I have so much other stuff to do. I'm leaving here in two days and the house is a wreck. And basically I always get it ready in January just for the year. And I do lots of little minor projects I'm not showing you, but I have so much to do. So it's like this cabinet was supposed to be done like a long time ago. We gotta get this done. Okay, a bit of white, a bit of black. Let's see how this turns out. feels fruitless. Okay, it looks more like concrete. I think I'd need to lighten it up, but will it in the end just still look like paint? Uh, I think I should just paint it tan. I'm not convinced that the gray doesn't look bad because it is concrete. But I want to try, so I'm going to keep that, let that dry. I want to go to the store and I want to get mesotope, which is kind of funny because when I was in the store last night, I was going to buy mesotope. And it's funny that that was the winner out of all of these that I tried. And I tried a bunch. My final three were between pure earth, creamy mushroom, and mesotope. And these are all bare. But I liked mesotope. I think it looks nice. So I'm going to utilize the two front pieces. This is crazy because like I got to get out of here quite soon. So it's like <laughs> the pressure is on and this can't look atrocious. So I think it's like, instead of just like being like, let's do it the whole thing. It's like, let me actually take a step back, do some experimenting, see what I like. And I'm hoping this works out because I like this vibe. Like this vibe is a cool vibe. Concrete's a cool vibe too, but this isn't, it's not real concrete, you know? Okay, so. I got the paint Mesa Taupe by Bear, and I'm already disliking the way that the gray is drying. So let's all say a prayer for me. It's got like a nice pinky, pinkiness to it. Kind of like a mauve taupe. All right, I'm feeling good about this. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It looks less pink on camera. It's interesting what the camera does. Uh, it looks a lot more khaki on camera and in real life it looks a lot more pink. Painted the gray one white and then stippled in the Mesa taupe. Does that look nice? I should wait till it dries to make a decision, but 
I'm like, does it look too DIY -y or does it look nice? And this looks a little too like beige, boring. In real life, it's more pink, but uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm feeling good about the just mesotope plane. finally go to this before and after. What did you guys think of this project? This one took me out. You know, it's always the things that look really simple. Like you like, okay, so you like put texture on a cabinet and painted it. But then you're like, why did this take forever? Why was this so difficult? Why did this make me want to quit like 5 million times? The end result I'm really happy with. I think the color choice was correct. Obviously I wish like I could have had this cool concrete look. I have two thoughts. I think, I needed to buy like a feather finish concrete in order to achieve this on top of a cabinet like that. Even then, I'm not so sure. Secondly, I feel like I could have gotten a similar look with just using joint compound, which is much easier to manipulate, easier to sand down and easier to apply and clean up and cheaper. <laughs> it's, you know, I'm feeling a little discouraged. I use joint compound for everything, if I'm being honest. So I wanted to try concrete patch, but I wouldn't suggest using concrete patch. If somebody else has a better answer, if they have done this, if you guys have done some kind of concrete situation before, please let me know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Were you like, you should have kept with the gray color, you shouldn't have painted it, you should have just picked it off white. Like, what were your thoughts on this project? Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you liked this episode, you should check out the episode last year I did where I renovated this house. I did so many projects last year. It feels like this year time really got away from me, but um, yeah, I did a ton of stuff last year and I think you'll like that video. So you should check it out. Okay, bye.